Bonjour et bienvenue. In this video, we will discuss about these two sets of proposition as you can see on the board and on the screen as well. These two set of proposition and how we will use them if we are referring to, if we are using these proposition with the name of the cities, province, countries, etc. That means when we are referring to a place, then how and when we can use these preposition. In this video, we will discuss them in detail with examples in French, of course. So first of all, let's discuss this first set of proposition as these two set of proposition have different meaning. So first of all, focus on this first set of proposition. On, o, o, a. These uh, four propositions referring to going somewhere, going to or in somewhere. When you are going somewhere or when you are in a particular place, then you have to use these prepositions uh, referring to going to or in a particular place. But interestingly, these prepositions has to be used differently. Each preposition has its own significance uh, and each, uh, each preposition has to be used differently and has to be used in a different manner though these four prepositions refer to going somewhere or in a particular place. So let's focus on this first preposition on referring to going to or in. How we will use them? On we will use them when we are referring to a feminine gender countries like France, France, Swiss, Switzerland, India and so the uh, so these three countries are feminine in gender so all the countries which are feminine in form if we are referring to going to that country or in that country then you have to use on like je vais en France I am going to France je vais en Suisse I am going to Switzerland je vais en Inde I am going to India Suppose if you have to say, I am in India, je suis en Inde. So referring to going to or in. Suppose if you are saying, I am uh, I'm in France, je suis en France. So referring to going to, je vais en France, I am going to France. Or I am in France, je suis en France, I am in France. In both the situations, you are using en with the feminine gender countries. So, je vais en France, je vais en Suisse, je vais en Inde, going to these countries. So, je suis en France, je suis en Suisse, je suis en Inde. I am in France, I am in Switzerland or I am in India. So, referring to in that place. So, all must be used with the feminine gender countries but those masculine countries which are beginning with a vowel like Iran. Iran is a masculine gender country but it is beginning with a vowel I. So you have to use O referring to going to or in. Suppose he is going to Iran. Ilu va en Iran. He is in Iran. Il e en Iran. So though Iran is a masculine gender country but it is beginning with a vowel. So those masculine gender countries which are beginning with a vowel like Iran, you have to use O referring to going to or in. Now the another case is with all uh, the continents like Asia, Asia, Africa, Africa, Europe, Europe. So with all, all the name of the continents referring to going to or in, you have to use O like O Nazi in Asia or going to Asian countries or Asia. A Nazi, A Nafri. Why I am saying A Nazi, A Nafri? Because there is a linking of the vowel and the consonant. N and A. A Nazi, A Nafri, A Noro, which means in or going to. Referring to going to that place or in that place place. So with the name of all the continents referring to going there or in that place you have to use or. Like now the another case is with all the province 
with all the name of the regions or a state you have to compulsory use o referring to going to or in suppose bourgogne bourgogne is the region central eastern region of france the bourgogne and in english uh, it is to be termed as burgundy so bourgogne uh, is worldwide famous for its wines so bourgogne is the region of france so with that you have to use o like uh, going to he is going to bourgogne il va a bourgogne he is in bourgogne or he is in burgundy il a a bourgogne il a a bourgogne so uh, this is the case of the a a must be used with all uh, these uh, a must be used in all these cases now let's focus on this o o must be used with the masculine gender countries all the countries which are masculine in form referring to going to or in suppose japan japon it's a masculine gender country suppose if you have to say i'm going to japan je vais au japon je vais au japon so with the japon we are using o if you um, if you are saying i'm in japan probably for some work je suis au japon je suis au japon pour le travail for the work so je suis au japon so uh, referring to going to or je suis i'm um, in that country you are using o so o must be used with all the countries which are masculine gender uh, which are masculine in form like japan you will use o now the next category is aux as the x is suggesting that you have to use this preposition with the plural gender countries all the countries which are plural in form like the usa les états unis les états unis so you will use i'm going to uh, usa je vais aux états unis i'm going to usa je vais aux états unis i'm in usa Uh, je suis au états unis je suis au états unis but remember we have a different term of this country even in french uh, even in english also america america and the united states of america in french we have two different uh, terms les états unis and amérique with amérique or america you can't use aux you have to use on uh, if you are saying I am going to America. Je vais en Amérique. You have to use on. But if you are saying United States of America, les États-Unis, then you have to use aux États-Unis, refer to going to or in. So don't uh, don't have that kind of a confusion because we have two different type of words in French for this particular country, even in English, USA and America. So O must be used. with all the countries which are plural in form like usa <clears throat> now the next is r r must be used with all the cities uh, referring to going to or in suppose if you are saying i will go to paris tomorrow jire a paris demain jire a paris demain jire it's the future form of the verb aller jire a paris demain so i will go to paris uh, tomorrow uh, if you have to say i am in delhi je suis à delhi je suis à delhi so referring to in here je suis à delhi i am in delhi if you are saying um, he is going to london il va à londres we have a different term here in french for london il va à londres il va à londres he is going to london so referring to in or going to with the cities you have to use a now move on to the next set of preposition that means de the apostrophe du de de these all preposition when referring to a place refer to coming from coming from a particular place coming from or 
belong to that place coming from that city or a country or belong to that place then we have to use these prepositions but each preposition as we have discussed earlier as well these preposition each preposition has to be used differently so let's discuss uh, one by one so first of all focus on this de the the must be used with all the countries which are feminine in gender all the countries which are feminine in gender so referring to coming from or belong to that country you have to use de like je via the swiss i'm coming from switzerland so, so switzerland swiss is feminine je via the swiss i'm coming from switzerland je via the france i'm coming back from france 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 is feminine je via den d apostrophe je via den uh, i'm coming back from india so uh, india is beginning with a vowel that's why we have to use d apostrophe we will discuss other this preposition later on so end india is beginning with a vowel it is feminine also so that's why we have to use d apostrophe so je via the swiss je via the france je via den now if you have to say il est de france he is from france that means uh, his country of origin is france il est de france so with the countries which are feminine in gender you have to use de referring to coming from or belong to now with all the province like burgoon in english burgundy with all the province also referring to coming from or belong to you have to use de like um, as example is given here il via the burgoon is coming back from uh, burgundy il via the burgoon so burgoon is the region is the province of france so we have to use de before that province referring to coming back coming from or belong to that place so with the name of the province or the region you have to use de now if any country either masculine or feminine is beginning with a vowel any country either masculine or feminine beginning with a vowel referring to coming back or belong to you have to use the apostrophe like then india is uh, india is a feminine country but it is beginning with a vowel like i am from india just we then india is my country of origin so just we then i belong to this country just we then just we then now diran Iran. So Iran is a masculine country, but it is beginning with a vowel, so you have to use the apostrophe. The apostrophe. Il via Iran. He's coming back from Iran. So the apostrophe you have to use because Iran is beginning with a vowel. Another example where we have to use the z apostrophe with all the continents beginning with a vowel, like Asia, Asi, like Europe. oro so dazi doro uh, from asia or belong to asia or coming back from one of the asian countries one of the uh, um, european countries like that you can use dazi like la dazi she is from asia or she is from one of the asian countries now the next is dew where we have to use dew dew uh, must be used with all the masculine gender countries referring to coming back or belong to like here denmark denmark is the masculine gender country so il est du denmark he is from denmark that means he belongs to that country il est du uh, denmark il est du denmark now the another country is japan that means japan japan is a masculine gender country so el via du japan she is coming back from japan she comes back from japan so japan is a masculine gender country so that's why we are using du before it referring to coming back now the next is they 
they as a word is suggesting they must be used with the plural gender countries referring to coming back again and belong to that country only plural gender countries like like anti anti les anti les anti is the west indies les états unis les états unis les pays bas netherlands les pays bas so with all the countries which are plural in form you can use uh, des referring to coming back or belong to that country like je viens des états unis i'm coming back from usa je viens des états unis je viens des états unis you can also say uh, uh, tu es des antilles tu es des antilles you are from west indies that means you belong to that country so tu es des antilles so with all the plural gender countries referring to coming back or belong to you have to use they like uh, like les états unis des antilles les pays bas etc now the last one is de where we have to use this de the must be used this the and this the has to be used differently this the must be used with all the countries which are feminine in gender but this the must be used with all the name of the cities referring to coming back or belong to like je suis de delhi i am from delhi then that means delhi is a city of my upbringing my uh, you can say it's the city of my origin je suis de delhi Je viens de Paris. I'm coming back from Paris. Je viens de Paris. Je viens de Paris. I'm coming back from Paris. Il est de Bangalore. Il est de Bangalore. He is from Bangalore. So these are the cities: Bangalore, uh, Paris, Delhi. You can also say um, Il vient. Il vient de Londres. Londres is London. Uh, Londres is London, so he is coming back from London. Il vient de Londres, so he is coming back from London. So with the name of the city is referring to coming back or belong to that particular city. You have to use the. So this is the concept of these prepositions when referring to the particular city or a place or a country, province. So. how and when we can use them in this video we have discussed in um, in detail along with the examples so that's all for this video if you like this video so please do share it with french language learners and do subscribe this channel as well so hope to meet you soon in my next video till then take care au revoir